building generative AI apps that actually understand your documents used to be very difficult. PDFs, Word files, PowerPoint presentations are all packed with rich information needing complex pre-processing before they can be utilized and understood by your LLMs. You would spend more time fixing parsers than building your RAG. And that's where Docling changes the game. Docling is an open source document parser built by IBM Research that transforms unstructured files into clean, structured data ready for your AI pipelines. Hello, I'm Eduardo Kaufman Malaga, and today I will show you how to use Docling to process PDFs and turn them into structured data sets to build a local, fully functional RAG application. Let's begin. To show you how to use Docling, I'm going to use this Jupyter Notebook. The first step is going to be to install Docling libraries. Okay, once the libraries are installed, we're going to load them. We're going to use the document converter from Docling. The next step is to provide the input document. For this example, we're going to use the technical report where Docling was introduced. The converter is going to analyze this document, understand its formatting, its layout, is going to apply OCR and it's going to create a structured version of this document. And it finished converting the document. Now I'm going to show you the output of Docling. This is a markdown representation of the PDF. Now we're going to create a RAG application using as input the PDF we, we just created. So we're going to transform the document into Markdown. We are going to split it using the headers of the PDF. Then we're going to use the embedding model all mini LM L6 V2 to create the vector store. Then we'll load the vector store into memory using face. Um, we'll define a retriever and we use Olama LLM with a Granite 4 Micro. Uh, if you want to learn more about how to use Grant 4 Micro, you can watch my previous video. So this is going to run all locally on this machine. Okay, it's completed. It parsed the information. It created 20 chunks. And now we're going to ask a question about this document. So my question is going to be, what is this document about? And we obtain the answer grounded on the information contained in the PDF file. So now we're going to create a RAG application, but we're going to use Claude to generate the code. So I'm asking Claude to create a Python script that will create a local RAG based on a PDF. And I'm specifying what are the libraries they need to use. So we're going to use Granite 4 in my local Olama. We're going to use Chat Olama to connect to the LLM, Docklink Loader to parse the PDF. I specify the launching libraries for prompting, the embedding model that we'll be using, how to chunk the text, and I'm asking to use Milvus for the vector store. And the code has been generated. It's asking permission to write. So I'm going to say yes. OK, Cloud finished generating the text. And so we're going to run the instance of my application using a stream lit run. And here is the application. Now we're going to load the same PDF we used in our previous example, the technical report for Docling. First is loading the PDF, splitting the documents, running the embedding model, and creating the vector store. Now let's ask a question. What is Docling? And it gives give us uh, the correct answer. Let's ask another question. Can Docklin do OCR? And again, this is the correct answer. Now we're going to clear the history and we're going to upload a new PDF. This is a, a test invoice PDF I created. Let me show you how it looks like. It's for the Acme Corporation. It has five line items. It has information about the quantity, the unit price, and the total amount for each item. So we're going to ask how many items in, are in this invoice. And it's giving us the correct answer. There's five items in the invoice. Let's ask what is the total amount. 
and again this is a correct answer now let's ask something more complex let's ask what is the most expensive item in the invoice so you will have to compare all the values to give us the answer and it's telling us that the most expensive is service x with a total cost of 120 dollars which is again the correct answer And that's it. We just built a complete local RAG application powered by Granite 4 Micro, Milvus, and LineChain, all connected through a clean, streamly interface. But the real start today was Docklink. We saw how Docklink takes messy and structured documents and turns them into structured data your AI can actually understand. By combining Docklink with your local LLM and vector database, you get a secure, private, and production-ready pipeline. Thanks for watching this video.